Let's talk brows, okay? Because someone the other day said, wait, what are you using? Why, how is that so easy? It is so easy. Okay, step number one, if your brows are totally out of control, go get them done, okay? It's not super expensive and they can give you some shape. And if you go to the right place, they can tell you what shape is best for your face, right? I'm not talking like some kind of weird, you know, alley job or something like that. Like, don't let your teenage daughter do it. I mean, unless she's really good at it. But you know what I mean, right? You're going to go somewhere and you're going to get them shaped. Because then after that, you can tweeze, you can use the little um, razor things, these, to kind of keep them in check. But then that way, you have a shape and you know what's going on, right? Because you're going to want to outline them and fill them in. If you don't have any... Let's get with you and get a shape for you and you can just draw them on, okay? Next up is gonna be your tool. Which one do you use? You guys see me use this one. I like one with a spoolie end. I do bend the spoolie end a little bit. Um, and then this is the width I want, okay? I don't want the brush too long because I want it to be firm, okay? Um, but about the width I want it is about the width of my brow. Okay, so that if I wanna take it that way, up and down, I can, all right? So here's some brushes that I bought that I didn't love, okay? Um, this one was, I don't even know, but it's too big, okay? Um, for me, I can't work with that. I'm not an expert here, okay? I'm not a makeup artist. I'm just a mom, I'm just a wife, I'm just trying to feel confident in my own skin, right? So that's too big, it gives me too much room to play, it's a no, okay? This one right here is too tall for one. It's a little too wide. I might be able to get by with it, but it just, it, it's too bendy. Like if I put it on my face, it's going to bend too much. And I'm not going to love that, okay? This one is the same thing. So you see how the width is really good. The angle is really good because I want the angle on it, but it's too tall and bendy. So then when I'm putting it on here, I'm like, whoa. And then it's like not staying stiff. So I want it pretty stiff, okay? And then this one actually is the pharmacy one. It's too big for me. I see people use it. They're great at it. I'm just not. I need a smaller one. Um, so kind of play with it. And these brushes are so cheap everywhere. I got this one from the Morphe website, the M-O-R-P-H-E. Um, it's the Jaclyn Hill brand. And I really like it. I literally did probably try about 15 before I found one that I really, really liked. Um, but I think it's pretty amazing. So once you have a brow shape, Okay, I want to comb up in the front and then over. Okay, so you can kind of see where the hairs go up there and then over. So you can see how I don't really have much brow. I really have to fill that in, okay? So what I have started using, um, I was using the liner, but then I switched back. I used this in the beginning and then I used the liner and I switched back to this because I love them all, but this is so simple, okay? Um, plus, it's $12.90. It's going to last you forever. I got the shade dark brown, so 03. So I think there's two or three shades of this so we can kind of get you in the right color. But what I like to do is just kind of give it a little kiss, okay? Not like a full-on makeout session because then it's going to get too dark and too wild, right? Just just like kissing your grandma, okay? Just a little peck. Um, and then where you're gonna, I start on the bottom and I'm gonna start about a fourth of the way back where it starts to arch up because I want this backside to be darker than this. So you kind of want to go for an ombre effect and you can kind of get that with the brush, but I just help it by placing the majority of the product from here back. So because my brows are already shaped, I can start here and draw a line, okay? So then I just keep kissing it a little bit. I would rather get too um, little on my brush than too much. Because once you go too much, it's a little, it just, it kind of is gonna kill your look. Um, you're gonna have to really brush through it. If you get it too dark, you can definitely take this spoolie in and kind of go through it, okay? So don't overcomplicate this, because once you have a brow shape, just outline your brow and then do the top. And then I just kind of take it to where your arch starts and then come down. That's the shape I like. Now, there's lots of shapes and you can kind of play with this. And I'm not even going to say mine are the same shape every day. Okay. So you see how I kind of took it to the arch and then brought it down. So this kind of end is a lot thinner. And then if you want to darken it up, if you want to go a little higher, you can. Let me start to get that close up. Okay, so you can see where the hairs are and where the color is. These aren't going to look like completely natural, like I didn't do my brows. 
but I don't care about that because I want brows, okay? And so then I've pretty much taken all the product and put it back here, right? This is where I want this size of brush. Come up here in the front and I just kind of fill this in just a little bit, kind of go up with it a little. And then if you need to ombre it out, just kind of take your brush and kind of comb through it. Again, I still just go up in the front and then over, but you see what a huge difference just a little brow makes, even if I was gonna wear no makeup and just this lip oil. Like if I'm just gonna run somewhere. This just makes my whole face look different. This is the result of over plucking in middle school. Then brows were a thing, I don't know why, but you see this difference. It's so huge, right? So huge.